the Guam Department of Education is put on the spotlight once again, this time with a lawsuit filed against them by local attorney and senator Tom Fisher. Fisher alleging GDOE administrator of federal programs of the Department of Education, Ike Santos, was unlawfully certifying at least $640,000 to possibly as much as $1.5 million in overtime compensation. He is a thief. He is stealing money and has stolen money from uh, the pockets of school children here on Guam as federal programs administrator. I, I want everyone to understand that Mr. Santos is a highly trained individual on what can be done and what cannot be done with federal monies received by uh, uh, the government. I find it particularly um, ironic that he, him being the federal programs administrator was in charge of the money and as said as recently as I think 2020 that this money needed to be devoted <coughs> to the use of the school children here on Guam. He didn't do that. He took the money and put it in his own pocket and has been feathering his own nest. Fisher highlighting so an Office of the Public uh, Accountability uh, Audit that showed overtime payments were unauthorized and paid to employees who were not eligible to receive overtime compensation, Santos. including Santos himself, alleging certifying his overtime payments totaling nearly $80,000. At the GDOE central offices in Tizen, Santos walked right by us. Hey, I think that's I. Mr. Ike Santos, and it seems that he has locked himself in inside his office to prevent himself from talking to us. So we're going to try another way to get some answers. But no response from the other side of the door. That's when GDOE Deputy Superintendent Erica Cruz approached us. Cruz unable to speak to the specifics of the lawsuit against Santos. It's a personal matter and it's, it's something that I can't speak about at this point. But it's involving, um, you know, your department, your school. I understand. But it's a personal matter, and personal matters are, are private. Uh, there is a process that an individual goes through, uh, an employee goes through. It's a due process. Uh, the individual goes through a due process, uh, and it's a personal matter that's being handled at the Department of Education. An internal review into the allegations made against Santos is ongoing. KUAN confirms Santos still holds the title as Federal Programs Division Administrator, but officials confirm he has since been removed from overseeing federal grants. Since the audit, he was assigned to handle other duties, including assisting with post-storm response efforts, supporting schools with FEMA assistance. Julian Hernandez, KUAM News.